Welcome, welcome. We just rolled into the X Games. We are still masked up, but I want to I want to introduce you to Max Benz. He is going to be responsible for most of the clips you're going to see from this point forward. Max and I are going to go make sure we don't have COVID with these lovely people over here, and we're not allowed to film any of that. Then we're going to go check out this weird new thing that's the X Games in the season of COVID. Yeah, here we go. It's going to be a great <laughs> week. <laughs> What's that there? That is my ticket to ride. The COVID-19 test results are negative, which means I get to keep going. Pass go, collect $200, get your credential, then sit in the car for a while until it's practice time, and then we go practice. It's gonna be great. We still have an hour till practice and nowhere to go. Normally we'd go chill in the athlete lounge and steal as many, well, you don't even have to steal them. You just tell them you're taking them. Take as many of your beverage of choice as you could possibly fit in your pockets and backpacks and things. But not this year. This year we're gonna sit here in the car. At least we have a nice Range Rover to sit in, full of stuff, with the seat heaters running. We're sitting here waiting for practice. And so I'm gonna practice something else because I have nothing else to do. I don't wanna blow. <laughs> Max's eardrums out, so I'm not gonna actually blow this thing, but They're coming right in cupped up Limits <laughs> limits. <laughs> I'm stoked that I'm about to walk up to the X Games half pipe Everything to this point has been weird. And I think a lot of things are going to be weird. But as soon as I drop into that half pipe, I'm gonna be back home doing what I'm used to doing. So I'm stoked on that for sure. How was the first practice? That is a wrap on night one. Uh, took a little getting used to. I thought I forgot how to ski completely on the first lap. But by the end, I was feeling like myself again. Definitely a very nice half pipe, and I'm stoked to see what we got through this week. Like a vehicle or like a race car. You put in good fuel, you're gonna get good performance out of it. And uh, one of the things that I've noticed is that there is no better fuel for me than, than wild game meat. Um, I do need a high protein diet. I've tried other things and had it kind of underperform and not felt very strong and powerful. But when I'm eating this stuff, I feel good and it just it just works for me. And it, and I love the connection to my food too. So I know where this came from. I raised the pig that provided the pork fat for this, and I shot the elk and carried it with my family, butchered it with my family, ground it up with my son. Um, it's just like. It's as cool as it gets. And not only am I gonna be physically preparing in the half pipe, getting my runs together, dialing in my tricks, but I'm also gonna be preparing on the nutrition side by eating a really good complex carb, high protein, wild game diet. So I'm stoked. Not completely ideal, but one of the things you learn when you travel as much as I do is how to make dinner out of just about anything. <laughs> melty cheese and we're gonna mix it with some of this salsa verde and we're gonna put it in the microwave i know classy this is some gourmet stuff we're doing here it's a ski weekend that's right <laughs> here we are talking about this super healthy wild game <laughs> diet and we're just loading on che cheese <laughs> The rice is gonna live right here. Oh yeah. 
And that's the key to winning gold medals. This is right it. There. This is how you win. Boy. What's on the agenda today? Oh, we're just uh, getting ready for day two of practice. Before day two of practice though, we're gonna have a little interview, sit down, you know, pretend I know what I'm talking about. Look at that shiny rig over there. That's good for speed, but bad for the body if you hit your body on it. So <laughs> I'm gonna try not to do that today and tomorrow and the next day <laughs> and the next day. The reality is this may be the only contest that we get off. I mean, we have a couple other opportunities, but they're all kind of, ah, maybe it'll happen, maybe they won't. So uh, one of the things that I'm just excited about is that we are having this contest and I'm stoked to be one, part of the invited riders. And so yeah, that gives me a little extra energy for this, for this event for sure. And, uh, I'm looking forward to putting a run together and seeing how it plays out. Welcome to the top of the half pipe. This is not the easiest place to get to this year. In fact, you kind of have to scheme your way in to be here. Uh, normally, walk with me. Normally the snowmobiles drop you off down there and there's a giant like four stair set scaffolding to climb up to get here. This year they're dropping us off up there so you can just click into your skis and ski out. It's way nicer. Like getting, getting laps in is actually really nice this year. But uh, yeah, we're obviously there's no places to chill up here like there normally would be. There would normally be an athlete lounge right there where we can sit and chill and watch things. Um, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no congregating whatsoever this year at the X Games, but there's still a contest happening and we're stoked. How's it running? Oh man, it's so much better than yesterday. Not that it was bad yesterday, but this is faster, which makes it more fun. All right, well, that's a wrap on day two, and I'll tell you the truth. I'm not crushing it as hard as some guys out here. But I had an excellent night of practice and did two of my harder tricks. Not my hardest, but harder tricks. So it's all coming together, getting my flow back, putting top to bottom runs together. Hype.